Improving swimmer's posture is really an effect that's going to happen throughout the whole body. These are some exercises or a simple exercise routine you can do a few times a day to not only help strengthen and improve the muscle length of the areas that are tight or long, but also try to move and improve the mobility of our brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a group of nerves that run from the neck through the arm here. Over time, through whether just it's poor posture in sitting or swimming or doing any activity, there's going to be some extra stress to this neural structure. So what we want to do is try and promote a healthy way for these nerves to slide and glide throughout the body to help restore their mobility, mobility, flexibility, and also improve any sensitivity it's having causing an athlete to kind of round in this hunch, posi hunch position. There's some theories out there in the rehabilitation world is that if this area is oversensitized or provided too much sensation, it's going to go ahead and shorten up and cause a person to get into this kind of protective position, which occurs or is commonly seen in the swimmer's shoulder posture or swimmer's posture. So what you're going to go ahead and do is stand against the wall. You're going to have the back of your head against the wall, trying to have as straight as head as possible. Okay, you're just going to let your low back kind of rest, but make sure you're not arching your back, just having it in a relatively neutral or um, less least stressful position. And what you're going to go ahead and do this position is just do some alternating arm motions, trying to squeeze that top arm, shoulder down and back. You can go ahead and do about 20 of these total. I'm not going to do all of them here for this video, but really trying to feel in between the shoulder blades, the muscles activating. Next, what you're going to go ahead and do is make this uh, little eye eyeglass here with your hands. You're just going to tuck one hand underneath. If you have some neural sensitivity, you may feel some numbness, some sensation in the pinky fingers. If you feel that that's normal or that's perfectly fine, just make sure that pain dissipates or sensation dissipates as you quit doing this exercise. After you do about 20 of those, you can have both hands in front. Then what you're going to do is extend the wrist, bring your fingertips to the wall. During this one, you may feel some sensation down the front of the forearm or even in the hand. Once again, just as long as that sensation dissipates um, right after you do it, it's perfectly fine. Excellent. Good, and the last one we're going to do is just a Y motion. Really here, just to squeeze the shoulder blades together, promote some improved lower trapezius strength. Okay, so for all those exercises, I recommend doing them for about 20 repetitions, doing it three to four times throughout the day. And I bet you over uh, the course of a few weeks or maybe into a month or two, you'll really see some improvements in your poor swimmer's posture, which as we know, rounded shoulders, head forward. So if we get that head back, shoulders back, improve the sensitivity or decrease some extra sensation into the, the neural structures should really improve how you're moving and hopefully if you improve that posture outside of the pool you get in the water you'll be in a much more streamlined and hydrodynamic position